Hey folks, I'm going to show you my new fishing boat. And I want to show you, I'm doing it hillbilly style all the way with this boat. Let's get started. Well, here's my new fishing boat. 14 foot semi V bottom boat. And I've got this baby for a really good price. I got it for free. All I had to do was go down to my brother's house, which was an eight hour drive. So not a hundred percent free. I had to spend some, uh, money to drive down there and hotel and stuff like that but it was a good visit just the same and now i've got myself a semi v bottom boat so basically he worked some kind of a deal to get me this nice boat and all i had to do was go pick it up it came with a 50 pound thrust trolling motor which i had to do a little work on to get up to snuff same thing with a boat had to do a little work on it as well so let's kind of give you a little overview of what this looks like so we have a trailer. And as you see, a nice trailer. Just the same. Everything works on it. It's in excellent shape. Same thing with the boat. So we look inside of here, we sneak a little closer. My brother had this set up pretty nice. Up here in the front, he has a swivel seat and there is a pedestal mount that's inside of a compartment in here. Now let me show you that compartment. Get my camera to stay in one place for me. All right, we got the compartment right here. And then the pedestal mount is inside the compartment. Here's another bit of a find that I got. I found this anchor at a yard sale. Came with the rope, five bucks. You can't buy this anchor for five bucks, an 18 pound anchor. And that'll hold this boat just fine. You see here, we got the swivel seat. And if you look down this way, you will see a nice large dip net. And you can see the price on the dip net, 10 bucks. Same yard sale. The gentleman's son had passed and he was just getting rid of some items. So I took advantage of it. And you'll see here, we have two more seats. This one, I permanently installed it because the base wasn't working right down here. Like this one has it where you can adjust the thing back and forth. So I just put this in one place. I don't plan on running this this boat without these seats in it, so that's the way to do it. And of course, I've got a set of oars. You can see one of the oars right there. Now we'll move down to here. And there's that 50 pound thrust trolling motor that I got. And you can see it's pretty nice. Hopefully it shows up well, but you can see it across there. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on it. There we go, perfect. Then I picked up a oldie but goodie outboard. This is a Ted Williams 7.5 horsepower outboard motor. And I have not um, ran it in the water yet. I started it up, it starts up just fine. The propeller turns when I put it into gear. So we will see how that works. So that outboard motor and that gas can right there, less than a hundred bucks. So, $15 for the anchor and the net, less than 100 for this outboard and the gas can, and then I had to pay something like $40. I got at one of the local farm stores a deep cycle trolling motor battery for this uh, trolling motor. So we're all set in that way. So let me kind of cruise around here. We'll go to the front. You'll see I've got an anchor trolley there, so I'll be using that. We go to this side here. You can see it's in really good shape. I've already customized it with a few decals, and it's been out in the water 
first time out in the water, had a little leak, found that, fixed it up. You know, it's an older boat. It's going to have uh, little quirks to it. But I'm very happy with it just the same. This boat is going to give me a lot of great fishing trips, and hopefully you folks can see a lot of great fishing adventures with it, with me just as well. Well, that's the fishing boat, and I hope you all get to enjoy this with me as we go out here in Minnesota and see how many walleye and how many catfish and other stuff we can catch. I'm going to be heading out this week with it, and we will see just what I can pick up. I've already been out with it and caught uh, probably you know, 40, 50 um, sunfish, bluegills with it. But right now I want to go ahead and catch some larger species. And then I'll put that all on fishing with some of the hillbilly for you folks. Let me cut you loose for now. We can get, I can show you all different things on this boat. I can give you all different types of ideas what you can do. I mean, a free boat. That's as hillbilly as you can get. All I had to do is go down to my brother's, pick it up. Picked up old used motor and gas cam for less, less than a hundred bucks for both. The gas was, cam was separate. I'm just adding those together anchor, battery, net. Already had 20-something fishing poles, so I am good on all uh, fishing poles and tackle. But this is what I've been looking for. You know, kayak fishing is a lot of fun too, but now I can actually take some people with me and we can go out together. Hey, maybe you can come out sometime with me. We'll get out out these lakes and see what we can catch. Well, this is Son of a Hillbilly saying, get out there and catch some fish and have a fun time doing it.